Hello and welcome to Piedmont Technical Experts training on Office 365. Uh, this module is specifically geared around working with contacts within Outlook Online and within the Outlook application on your desktop. Uh, we will begin working with uh, Outlook Online. Uh, I have currently signed in to my Microsoft 365 account and have signed in to Outlook. Uh, to get to your contact list, you come over here and click on People. And your address list will open up here. Uh, I'm going to do New Contact to create a contact. So the more information you fill out, and I'm only doing this um, so that I can see a difference between the contacts that I create. Uh, to be able to send an email, you obviously have to put in an email address, but you, if you have a cell phone application, you can add a phone number or mobile phone, and you can actually dial them from your Outlook client uh, because it will call your cell phone application. So I will put in my Gmail account here. It automatically populated some of this other information, and I can put in this as a test note. and then hit save and the contact is successfully created and now I have Jonathan H. Beck and I have the option to call their mobile phone, uh, talk with them via uh, email or potentially even do a chat or SMS message. So uh, if I want to send this person an email, I just click on the mail icon. It will bring up a new email message geared straight for that person and I do test and test and then I hit send and send the email message. If I needed to delete this contact I just have to come up here to the top and delete this contact and it will ask me if I want to confirm that I want to delete that and I say yes. Um, if I am in my mail and I want to send an email um, to someone that is in my contact list, I hit new email, it opens up the mailbox. I can click on this two box right here and it's going to bring up my contacts by default. The other thing that you'll want to take note of is the default global address list. That is the address list for your tenant and all the global contacts that have been added by your IT team, as well as your uh, all your Office 365 users. But we're specifically looking at your personal email list here. So I'm going to scroll down and I found the account that I want to use and I hit the plus sign. And now I've added John, my Hotmail account to uh, as the uh, recipient of this message. And I can do test and test and hit send and then that message goes out and that's how you can work with uh, contacts within um, Office 365. Uh, the process for Outlook is very similar and we'll go over that in just a second. There is one more thing that I would like to show you. Uh, you can do this drop down arrow next to new contact and you can do new contact list or new group. All right, if we do contact list, that is going to be a new address list within this list, so I'm going to discard that. Uh, but if I do new group, that is the new name for distribution list. So basically what you want to do is create the group and say test. and it'll give it an email address and I can do create, or actually I will do edit, private, only approved members see what's inside and you can do create. And you pick people who you want to be in the group. And now anybody who gets an email from test one at Piedmont Technical Experts, who's a member of that group, will receive 
that email message. All right, and now we'll minimize that and bounce over to our Microsoft Outlook screen. And again, you'll go to People, and we can do New Contact here. And let me drag up the window. And this is probably a screen that if you've used Outlook in the past, you're pretty familiar with. You type in their full name. You type in their company. Give them an email address. And in this case, I'm just creating a contact with my um, work email. I can fill out all this information if I like. I can do save and close. And I can do update. And I can click on this contact and it fills in. It has merged all the contacts I've created up to this point and it has merged them together. Uh, that is the difference between the uh, web version and the full version of Outlook, it will actually look for duplicates and try to combine them if you've got them. All right, and here you get the same kind of uh, options here. You can go from new contact and you can do um, contact, contact group, which would be the equivalent of a distribution list. So you give it a name. And you can click members and do add member from Outlook contacts, from address book or new email contact. If I do new email contact, Basically, it's going to bring up this little box, and I can do um, SMTP is going to be by default. And again, it's fine. Outlook is smart enough to um, find this, so I will add that. Uh, I can do add members from Outlook contacts. And I'll just grab a group and do members and do OK. And now if I send something to test distribution list, all these people will receive that email message. And I can say yes to save that. And if I scroll down in the list, I will see test distribution list. And if I want to delete that test distribution list, I can just come up here and hit delete. Same with like this test contact group. I can do delete and that's going to delete that group. Uh, and that is pretty much how you work with contacts in Office 365, both from the web app as well as from the desktop application. I hope you found this video informative and I look forward to seeing you uh, view other training videos from Piedmont Technical Experts where we keep you running.